Well, hello again. It's uh, Cameron Minder here at the Space Center. And uh, you might wonder why we, we look like this. Uh, well, we're wearing special glasses because we're gonna be looking at the sun, something that you, uh, you really don't wanna do. And unfortunately, I can't actually see uh, any, anything at the moment with them, with them on, uh, but if I uh, take them off, you're here. So, um, the reason we have these on is looking at the sun is incredibly dangerous. Uh, but you're going to talk a little bit about some of the, the smart ways of observing the sun. Exactly. So, if you have a pair of binoculars or a camera, don't point to the sun. Don't point to the sun. You need to take very special precautions when looking at the sun. You need to have a special solar filter. Now, I've got one installed here on top of the large telescope. Be sure that you want to filter the solar light at the, at the end of the telescope, uh, at the, where the light comes in, not where you put your eyepiece. An inexpensive way of doing it, you might have seen it as the, uh, like the pinhole uh, cereal box uh, viewer for looking at the, at the sun, which is still a, a perfectly uh, fine way of doing it. Again, just the, the most important thing is not to actually point anything directly at the sun uh, if, you, if you really don't know what you're doing, because it, it can hurt the damage, the, it damage the device and it also do a lot of damage to your eyes. Now, 2010 is a special year for solar activity. Uh, our, our sun has a particular cycle uh, of solar activity, and it's about an 11-year cycle, and we're actually at the, at the peak of that. So, so really there should be a lot of solar flare and a lot of interesting things to look at uh, on the surface of the sun this year. And Raminder, you've got something that will allow us to see some of that. So I've got a, my, my digital SLR camera hooked up here and uh, it's actually taking the images of the sun as we speak right now. So right now if you have a look you could see a, a sunspot or two on the surface. And you might think, well, what does that matter to me here on Earth? But believe it or not, uh, high levels of uh, solar radiation can affect communication satellites and can affect uh, ways that we actually function down here on Earth. All right, so should we have a look? Oh, yeah. That's and so, yeah, and again, like a, you know, uh, like a solar uh, flare, solar activity, you'd be able to see that quite easily when you're looking at the, uh, at the edge. Mm -hmm. You should be able to see the sunspots right yeah. there. So again, if, if you're interested in, in uh, seeing a little bit more detail about our sun, there are a couple of uh, easy ways that you can do that at home. Again, the, the simple cardboard box, and you can, you can look up how to make one of those cereal box viewers. A little bit more technical with uh, the filters and whatnot. And the easiest way, of course, is to come down to the HR McMillan Space Center and just check our website for more details on that. For the Express from the Space Center, I'm Cam Cronin. I'm Reminder Samra. Have a good day.